So to continue our previous video, let's just remind ourselves that when we want to find the volume underneath a solid, if f of x, y is this function that's above the axis, um, the, sorry, the x, y plane, so it's a positive function, then the volume underneath that surface of f of x, y above some rectangle r can be written in this notation. The volume is the double integral over r of f of x, y, dA. Okay, that's one way of writing that double integral, and it's over the integral r. So let's do an example where we don't actually take the integral, but we approximate it by doing some Riemann sums. So we want to estimate the volume of a solid that lies above the square 0, 2, cross with 0, 2. So if I were to draw a picture of that, I'm going to go from, uh, sorry, that was horrible, but here's 2. Here's two. I'm going to do a rectangle here. And I want to do it uh, for the surface. Z is equal to 16 minus x squared minus 2y squared. So you graph this surface. It is actually a paraboloid. It's an elliptic paraboloid. They tell us to divide r into four equal squares and choose the sample point in each subrectangle to be the upper right corner for our ij. So divide it into four equal rectangles like this and we're going to choose for like this rectangle here this upper right corner that's 1 comma 1 for 1 comma 2 right the rectangle 1 comma 2 is going to be this point 1 comma 2 the point the test point for 2 comma 1 is going to be this point and the test point for this rectangle is going to be 2 comma 2 Okay, so let me draw that a little bit better with this image here. So rectangle 1, 1, rectangle 2, 1, rectangle 1, 2, um, rectangle 2, 2. So these are my points. Now I want to approximate the volume and find the, uh, the Riemann sum for this. Okay, so remember that the volume is approximately the sum and the sum of f at each one of your test points. That's y i j star times the area of its subrectangle. So actually, I'm going to use the area of r i j. Okay, we sum that over i, we sum that over j. So let's do this for each one of those rectangles. So the double sum just means add it up for all the rectangles. Okay, so for r11, we're going to do f at 1, 1 times the area of that rectangle, right? So that's delta r11 plus f at 2, 1. It's this rectangle at this point for that rectangle times the area of that rectangle 1 sorry 2 1 plus f at 2 1 that would be this rectangle up here at that point so we've done this point we've done this point now we're up to this point so times delta um, r 1 2 and then plus there's a fourth term f at 2 comma 2 because that's this point here delta r 2 2 now all of these squares have an area of 1, right? Delta, of, sorry, let me write that again. The size of that rectangle is length times width. 1 times 1 is 1. Delta that's 1, delta that's 1, and delta that's 1. So what I actually end up doing is finding the value of f at 1, 1. So plug in 1, 1 into that. 16 minus 1 minus 2 is 13 times 1 plus plug in 2 1 into this 16 minus 4 is 12 minus 2 is 10 times 1 plus this one should be 1 2 I think I did that backwards so 1 comma 2 so plug in this point into here 16 minus 1 is 15 minus 2 times 2 squared which is minus 8 so 15 minus 8 is 7 times 1 plus 
this one up here, which is f at 2, 2. 16 minus 4 is 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. So 4 times an area of 1. 13 plus 10 plus 7 plus 4 gives me 34. And there is my approximate volume under that surface.